This is part 1 of lecture 3.2, Set Operations. In this video, we will introduce the operations of set union and set intersection and give examples of proofs of statements involving these. Let A and B be sets. The union of A and B is the set consisting of all objects X such that X is an element of either A or B. The intersection of A and B is the set consisting of all objects X, such that X is an element of both A and B. For any set A, A union A is equal to A. Indeed, by the definition of set union, A union A consists of all objects X, such that either X is in A or X is in A. The condition either x is in A or x is in A is equivalent to the condition x is in A. Hence, A union A is precisely the set A. Similarly, A intersection A is equal to A. Indeed, by the definition of set intersection, A intersection A consists of all objects x such that both x is in A and x is in A. The condition both x is in A and x is in A is equivalent to the condition x is in A. Hence, A intersection A is precisely the set A. Any set A union the null set is equal to A. This is because A union the null set consists of all objects x such that either x is in A or x is in the null set. Since the statement x is in the null set is false, this condition is equivalent to the condition x is in A. This is equal to the set A. Any set A intersection the null set is null. This is because A intersection the null set consists of all objects x such that both x is in A and x is in the null set. Since the statement x is in the null set is false, the statement both x is in A and x is in the null set is always false. So this is equivalent to the statement x is in the null set. This is equal to the null set. The union and intersection of two sets are shown in these Venn diagrams as shaded regions. On the left, we have the union of A and B, and on the right, we have the intersection of A and B. Let us now prove statements involving the concepts of set union and intersection. For our first example, consider the claim a is a subset of A union B. To prove this, we need to show the, that the equivalent quantified statement holds. That is, we need to prove that for any object X, if X is an element of A, then X is an element of A union B. For the proof, let X be an arbitrary object. Suppose that X is an element of A. Then, by one of the inference rules discussed in Lecture 1.4, it follows that either X is in A or X is in B. So X is an element of A union B by the definition of set union. Thus, A is a subset of A union B. Consider the claim A intersection B is a subset of A. This is equivalent to the statement, for every object X, if X is an element of A intersection B, then X is an element of A. To prove this, let X be an arbitrary object. Suppose that X is an element of A intersection B. Then, X is an element of A and X is an element of B by the definition of set intersection. So X is an element of A by one of the inference rules discussed in Lecture 1.4. Thus, 
A intersection B is a subset of A. Consider the claim the intersection of A union B and C is equal to the union of A intersection C and B intersection C. This is equivalent to the statement for every object X, X is an element of the intersection of A union B and C if and only if X is an element of the union of A intersection C and B intersection C. To prove this, let X be an arbitrary object. We begin with a statement X is an element of the intersection of A union B and C. This is equivalent to the statement X is an element of A union B and X is an element of C by the definition of set intersection. Applying the definition of set union, this is equivalent to either X is an element of A or X is an element of B and X is an element of C. By propositional calculus, this is equivalent to either X is an element of A and X is an element of C or X is an element of B and X is an element of C. The first statement in the disjunction above is e equivalent to the condition X is an element of A intersection C. And the second statement in the disjunction is equivalent to the condition X is an element of B intersection C. This is equivalent to the condition X is an element of the union of A intersection C and B intersection C, which completes the proof. Consider the claim A is a subset of B if and only if A union B is equal to B. Recall that the condition A union B is equal to B is equivalent to the condition A union B is a subset of B and B is a subset of A union B. We will give a two-part proof of this claim. For the forward direction, assume that A is a subset of B. By example 1, B is a subset of A union B. Hence, it remains for us to show that A union B is a subset of B, or equivalently, for any object X, if X is an element of A union B, then X is an element of B. To prove this, let X be an arbitrary object. Assume that X is an element of A union B. We need to show that X is an element of B. By the definition of set union, either X is an element of A or X is an element of B. If X is an element of A, then since A is a subset of B, X is also an element of B. And if X is an element of B, then clearly X is an element of B. That is, for both cases, X is an element of B. This proves that A union B is a subset of B. Hence, A union B is equal to B. For the converse, assume that A union B is equal to B. Our goal is to show that A is a subset of B. By example 1, A is a subset of A union B. Since A union B is equal to B, it follows that A is a subset of B. This completes the proof. You have come to the end of part 1 of lecture 3.2. Before you proceed to part 2, you are strongly encouraged to do the exercises given at the end of these slides. Thank you for your attention.